Hey, what's going on? Matthew here with another video. How's everybody doing? So I just figured something out. I didn't do my pre-trip right. So look what we got going on inside. I didn't do this by the way, but damn. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another day of the life video. I'm out here at work. I'm not on break by the way. I haven't started it just yet. I'm gonna make one more pickup and uh, take my break, uh, maybe 30 minutes. It's gonna be really slow, so I can take up to an hour, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be at work today. So that's the only thing. Um, my last pickup, I know I have one at five o'clock, but I don't know if they're gonna want me to come in earlier to come grab it. Some businesses are ready to go home after a while. So they'll end up telling my dispatch that, hey, we're ready to go home. It's New Year's Eve, Friday the 31st of December and it is 12:56 a.m. or p.m. I'm sorry and my phone just rang so let's see if I got something yeah pick up but it's not ready till three o'clock so which is fine it's okay um any other day that would have been like oh man three o'clock pickups because I'm usually busy around that time but it's easy today welcome to the day of the life as you can see I've made some some little pickups back there not too much um really it's gonna be an easy day uh got the transit then Ford transit uh, i didn't do my pre-inspection as expected i was supposed to walk around the vehicle and make sure to take the picture of that just in case someone did that yesterday and didn't do it but i took a picture of my regular phone and just like just for evidence before i left because uh, i already had did my pre-trip and i was like all right well i'm not gonna do it again and a lot of these vehicles are beat up like that anyway they just say well, they don't say keep going, but most most of the time it's already recorded. They just put that in the notes, and as long as it could drive and make up uh, make a pickup, it's good to go. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and check out this stop. They most likely don't have anything for me. If they do, it's one it's usually just one package. So we'll go ahead and check it out right now. Just one little package. Nothing too bad. I never see anybody in there, but they have a certain place where they put it, so here I am, right? Got it. And just, uh, and we're done. Anyways, it's New Year's Eve, and hope everyone has some resolutions. I know for me, I'm getting back into shape. Come on. I don't know how much I weigh, but I typically range from 175 to 185, and I'm pretty sure I'm more than that. I used to be a trainer at one point, believe it or not. If I can bring up a picture, I'll, I'll show y'all guys right there. And it's just uh, something I, I miss and I want to get back into. I used to be a, a gym rat. And before I started working at FedEx, I had a lot more time on my hand. Well, actually, I would say even Amazon, too. Amazon took up a lot of time. But even then, I was still working out. And phew, Amazon itself was considered a workout for me. I was always running. But yeah uh i expect it to be really slow today not too much going on i have 32 stops right now but uh those are the ones that are included that i haven't closed out and put a business close on it so once i get off of my break i'm gonna go ahead and filter through it and see what we what we're looking like it seems like everything will be back to normal um don't know what to expect in january i know there is some people consider it peak for them uh, I know my girlfriend's route, she's gonna get really busy around January because tax season and all that. She has a lot of documents, so she's taking a lot back right now. Um, someone like me that doesn't deal with too many businesses, I usually get most of my um, documents from this little guy over there. And uh, other than that, I'm just in a mall area. I'm picking up boxes and uh, big, small, long, tall, heavy, light so it's just um it's gonna be smooth for me my biggest stop is pretty much my first one and it's a sweep uh and they only have like whatever's back there not much compared to it, before i'd probably fill up half this truck so just enjoying it at the moment just really enjoying this uh, time where i can just relax and not be like i'm always behind because i know when um i first started I always felt like I was behind and then I got kind of good 
and then peak hit and it made me feel like I was still behind no matter what I did. But it's good to feel like not that rush, just pretty much just chilling and hanging out. But um, I'm gonna take you guys throughout today, show you how a smooth New Year's Eve works out for me. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. So we're here at one of my drop boxes and we're gonna see what we got. So out of all that, we have one express package and the rest are gonna be ground. So when it comes to drop boxes, you can actually take ground packages. You can tell they're ground because they'll have a, a G or a H right here. I don't know if you see that, a little right there. So we'll see what else we can get. came out nowhere. All right, guys, I'm heading to my next stop, Nordstrom Rack. And I don't know what time they close. So I hope they're not already closed. I mean, it's 4.50, I don't think they are. Most places are closing at six. We'll see what they have for me, if they have anything. Hopefully they don't got nothing for me because that's kind of been the trend. Just not taking much, look at my van. Whew, feels like that every day this job would be a piece of cake.
Well, they didn't have anything. Um, it was good. They said somebody already picked up, so. Oh well, right. That's good news. It's starting to get dark out here. Um, my next pickup is not actually for another hour, but it's a new place and I don't even know if they're there or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop by and see what's up. I'm right here basically, so I'm just gonna turn in, look inside, and if there's anybody in there, I'm gonna just ask um, what time they close. It's a new stop and I've been having some trouble with it. Um, main reason, is that they're never ready. So I'll kind of get there and be like, I'm here for FedEx Express. They're like, okay, we got two and we're working on four more. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I got two minutes. And um, after every two minutes, it's just like, I tell them like, hey, I gotta go, I'm sorry. Maybe next time, I'm burning out. So I'm gonna go look in there right now. It looks like the lights are on, so there might be some people in there. But we'll, I guess we'll see. So it looks pretty close to me. I don't see anybody. The lights are off. There's usually lights on like in the very back. Computer is usually on. I don't see anybody walking around. Um, just to make sure, I'm gonna go by the front and they're a new company that just came along. And their problem has been, they're just never ready. So um, I get here at 6.30, that's the time I'm supposed to get here. And when I get here, when I arrive, they always tell me that they got four more if I can wait. So the first time I waited a little bit, second time I was a little, I uh, gave two minutes, and this third time I'm not waiting at all. So um, that's just kind of how I do it. I let them know firsthand, like oh, I can wait today, but tomorrow it has to be ready. And um, if it's not ready at this certain time, I have to go to my next stop. Main reason being is I got other businesses that close within the hour and I can't wait. Um, so usually if they're wrapping one up, I'm okay with that. Uh, the problem becomes when they're not even weighed in, they're not even put in the system, uh, and they're bringing it out. <laughs> that's, that's what this place does. And it's kind—it's of, a little frustrating because they're new and I've kind of had to tell them a little bit, but the guy is very understanding at the same time. And he was like, you know what, I get it, I'm sorry. It was like, um, for next time, I don't know for sure. So hopefully it doesn't become a ongoing issue because this same building, this same suite, and that was one of the worst stops I had. It was just awful. Uh, packages were just always scattered everywhere. Um, I just never knew who to look for. Uh, if, if there wasn't anything, the doors would be closed sometimes. Like there was no way to get in. So when stuff like that happens, it can kind of drive you nuts. And they moved out and it's just replaced with this, which is not as bad. They, they're ready, bay doors are open. So I guess uh, we'll see for next time. All right, so I'm coming around, just checking it out, see what we can find here. Sorry, my camera is quality. All right, I came to the front just to make sure, because I don't know why I do this. It's just something I always have to make sure. I don't like getting in trouble. I think that's the main reason. But this is the building right here, and it looks ooh, it's pretty dark to me. Yep. It's dark, ain't nothing in there. Ain't nobody working. They about a party for New Year's. Get ready for 2022. So that means I just got two more drop boxes left. I'm gonna hit those and that's it. That's a done day. I'll show you what my van looks like at the end. Drop packages. Five, five. I don't even think this video, I should even open it from the back. I mean, 
that's that's what we're looking like. <laughs> Here's today's stat line. We have a total of 69 packages. That's it. Compared to the 830 I took two weeks ago. I actually have one more stop scheduled on me, but I already know for sure it's closed, so I'm not going to even worry about it. The lights shut off on me. It is really dark out here. I'm going to head home. So, hope you guys liked the video. I'll see you next time. Peace.